Hi guys, I'm Stephanie, and in this video I am going to give you some top tips on choosing your first tin whistle. Now when you're choosing your first tin whistle, there are a number of considerations to make, but the most important is tin whistle key. Tin whistles come in a variety of different keys, as you can see on screen now. They come in everything from a high G to a bass B flat. There are hundreds and thousands of whistles. There are plenty of different keys, there are plenty of different whistle makers, but the most important thing is to start off with a tin whistle in D. Now, if you've picked up a tin whistle and you're ready to play, most tutorials that you'll find online, on my channel, on other YouTube channels, will all be in D. And that is because tin whistles in D are firstly the most common, secondly, um, a lot of folk music is written for whistles in D, and most people who grab a tin whistle and want to learn to play want to play traditional Irish music or folk music, so D whistles are very, very useful. So, when you're starting out, grab a whistle in D. Most often you can see the key of the whistle on the whistle somewhere. This one is a C, this one is a D. So, make sure you grab a whistle in D. This will make your life so much easier. Secondly, go for a cheap whistle. There are lots of cheap, affordable whistles out there. Namely, Clark whistles, um, Fadogue whistles, Generation or Waltons. All of these whistles can be found on eBay or Amazon, so they are very, very easy to come across. Most of them are under $10 in most cases, or 10 British pounds, or 10 euros. They're cheap whistles, and it doesn't mean that they're poor quality instruments either. There are some amazing whistle players out there that can make Generation whistles, Walton's whistles sound fantastic. For example, Andrea in the Coors. Mary Bergen, who is one of the most amazing tin whistle players out there, often plays on Generation whistles as well. What these whistles do is give you an introduction to the instrument. They're quite responsive, so you can get the best out of them as a beginner. They're cheap, they're easy, and if you find that you don't stick with tin whistle, you haven't spent the earth on an instrument and then have to discard it somewhere in your house to collect dust. So go for something cheap. Clark's Sweet Tone is a great beginner's whistle. It's a conical shape. It does have a line down the back. Um, but I do have reviews on this whistle, and all the whistles I've mentioned here, you can click up here and you can find those reviews, so you can go and listen to these whistles and choose your favourite sound. You can also find most of these whistles in pretty much any whistle store, and they still are ridiculously cheap, so do check those out. My favourite is always the Clark Sweet Tone, I find it is the most forgiving for beginners, but some people do prefer the sound of a Fadogue or a Generation Whistle. I haven't tried Walton's myself, but it's in a similar bracket. So yeah, start cheap until you learn how to play, and then you can treat yourself with a more expensive whistle a few months down the line when you really feel that you're ready to move on and better your tin whistle playing. Not forgetting as well that these whistles are sturdy, which means you can knock them around a little bit and they will still survive. <laughs> but um, what they give you is a great base to find out what you personally want from tin whistle. Now tin whistles have so many different qualities, um, and these whistles require a certain amount of air, so that's a great place to start your lungs off on your tin whistle journey as well, to get you used to playing with the amount of air that's required for tin whistle. And once you do get into playing, you will find lots of different types and sounds suit what you want. Like, I personally favour a sweeter sounding whistle and one that's quieter because I play at home a lot, I don't play out in public very often, I want something I can feel comfortable practising in the house with, and something that I can play quietly that's still quite responsive. I don't want too much air in the whistle because, again, that gives it volume. So. Yeah, I found that out by playing these cheap whistles to begin with. It really, really is the place to start. And that is literally all there is to it. For further information on the whistles that I recommended, do check out my other videos here on YouTube. Um, if you haven't already, do check me out on Coffee and Patreon. There are links in the description below. This is where you guys can help me and support my channel to 
allow me to keep creating useful tin whistle videos for you guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification button and share with all your family and friends. Until next time, happy whistling, good luck with your whistle purchase, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!